Thanks for joining us tonight. We begin with a developing story from the Mall of America. Details continue to come in on the shocking incident that occurred there today. Police say witnesses tell them a man threw or pushed a five year old off the third level of the mall. That child fell to the first floor in the southeast court this morning. Police say the five year old suffered significant injuries. Our officers initially responded and performed first aid on the child, uh, along with some other uh, actual witnesses and passerbys. Police also say the 24 year old man who witnesses say pushed her through the child immediately took off running. We are not naming him as he has not yet been charged. Officers quickly arrested him in the mall. He is in police custody in Bloomington. At this time, they believe there is no relationship between the child and the suspect. Well, that five-year-old was taken to Children's Hospital in Minneapolis, where Gordon Severson is standing by live. Gordon? Hi, Julie. Yeah, as you mentioned before, Bloomington police say that he suffered life-threatening injuries in that fall, but the Children's Hospital here isn't providing any new information about how he's doing right now. We do know that he got here to the hospital around 11 o'clock this morning. We were here when the ambulance rolled in and went right into that emergency department behind me here. The family was right behind him, heading into the emergency department. Since then, we haven't received any uh, new information. We haven't seen any other ambulances going in or out at this time. Now, social media is just buzzing with well wishes and prayers for this boy. A lot of parents are deeply disturbed by this, wondering what could possess someone to do something like this. They're all hoping and praying that he recovers from this and does well. And Julie, I guess that's all we can do at this time is just hope for the best and hope that later tonight we can report some good news for our viewers uh, later in our six and 10 o'clock newscast. Back to you. I certainly hope so. Thank you, Gordon. I was on my way into the dentist's office and I walked in and I sat down and I looked up at the screen and I'm like, why is this black man's mugshot up there? You know, that will grab anyone's attention. And underneath the caption, I saw something that said mall attack. So I'm thinking, what did this silly Negro do? It said, did he shoot somebody? Did he shoot at somebody? Did he stab somebody? Did he rob somebody, rob a store? What did he do? It turned out to be none of those. This individual took it upon his black ass self to go and snatch up this random woman's child and throw the child or push the child. I don't know if they're saying push, thrown, whatever. Either way, the child ended up over the third floor balcony at the Mall of America in Minnesota. Do y'all realize how high three floors is in a mall? It's not a, like a three floor or the third floor of an apartment complex. This is the third floor of a mall. That is pretty high up. And this child or anyone who falls from a balcony like that is gonna land one of four ways. Either on their back, their side, their front or on their head. And when you're getting pushed or thrown from something, there's no telling which way you're going to land out of those four ways. Either falling either way is going to do bodily harm, especially if you land on your head. Now, this child that they he pushed, quote unquote, or threw over the balcony was only five years old. According to an article that I pulled up, the child has life threatening injuries. That means it's a possibility that this child could die. They already have this man on attempted homicide charges. Let this child die and they will bump it up to murder in which he will serve even more jail time. I say throw him, in, throw, just toss him away. Just do away with him. You know, Harvey says something on his channel a lot, and I agree with him. He said there is a certain element in our community that needs to be done away with. He is one of them because I also pulled up some other stuff about this guy. This guy has a history of doing not stuff like to this extreme, but he has charges like low level misdemeanor charges of just doing reckless shit. This right here is probably the most intense thing that he's done. Like, what did a five-year-old child do to you that will make you push or 
throw because they not this conflicting. They don't know if he if he threw the child or he if he pushed the child. Either way, the child ended up over the balcony and onto the the first floor. What would possess you to do that to a five year old child? What would a child What could a child do to you? I could imagine how traumatized his mother was to see a man that she doesn't even know because according to the articles and the reports. The woman and the man, who, this guy who did it, have no connection to each other. The child has no connection to him. What I can imagine how traumatized she was seeing some random man pick up her child and just throw him over the balcony for no reason. This guy is 24 years of age. He comes from the generation I like to dub generation can't get right. Because I swear to God, there's a lot of people in the that, that generation right there that's right underneath me that are some, I, some of them are just, I don't know where their mindset is at. I really don't. I hope that this child is able to pull through. Because I don't know where, they didn't specify which way or how the child landed. But like, you know, that child must have been so scared. Like one, you snatched a child up away from their parent and they don't know who you are. And then they ended up over the third floor balcony and onto the floor with life threatening injuries. They don't spe- they didn't specify as to why he did it. at this point. I really don't care why he did it. It should not have happened. Like I don't <laughs> between the nursing home video that I did with a guy uh, raped that woman who was a vegetable patient to the one, the one about the uh, the the nursing home person who uh, was raping and molesting the one who had dementia. To this, I don't know how much more I can take of some of our own doing some of the most reckless shit. But I think this one right here damn near takes the cake. But he also needs to be brought up on more charges, just more than attempted homicide, because I could see this as pretty much borderline kidnapping, because technically he had to have snatched this child up to get them over the balcony, because a five year old can't climb over something like that unless they're climbing on top of something and then they climb over because those rails are pretty high. But my goodness. That is like that is wild. When I think about a third floor balcony of a mall, that is high. Those of you who live in the um, DMV area, if you've ever been to Pentagon City Mall, that is a three. I think that's a three or four level mall. And when I'm thinking about it right now, because I have not been there in a while, but I can remember that third floor is high. That's a long drop to that floor and that floor. And it's not like the boy landed on something soft. He landed right there on the floor next to the escalator. Now, what if that boy fell on that escalator? That means he would have fell on that on those metal steps with the sharp with the corner with the ridges right there at the step and rolled down and really could have really injured himself. I bet the people in the mall was probably trying like what in the world just happened? Like just to see a body just fly out of the sky and land right there on that floor. Throw his ass away. Notice I said away, not in jail. I said throw him away. Like Harvey said, this is the element in our community that we do not need. Like when I saw, I said it is too early for this. And I was there at that office at like 830 in the morning. And imagine that's the first story I see of the day. Now, had I not gone there today, I would not have known about this story. But my goodness, I hope that the child is going to pull through. Um, I know that the mother is probably going through it right now. Any parent would. But this thing right here, I couldn't even man. I couldn't even bring myself to say his name in the entire video and I won't say it. But mm, see, it's people like that, that makes you want to fight somebody like I, if I was to see him, I probably would want to fight him for real. And that's not even my child. And that's not even my woman uh, the, um, who um, the child was with. But y'all let me know what y'all think about this down in the comments. And I will talk to you in the next one.